So a good way will be to go and vent it. For example, all of you people that said bad things to me during a day, <laughs> your name is <laughs> 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 Welcome to the Key and Josh channel. My name is Docker. And I am Josh. Uh, we're so excited to welcome you to today's episode. episode. Thank you for your support so far. Thank you. Thank you for the shares, the like, and the comments. Thank you for the subscription. Yeah. Please do where to subscribe if you haven't. Put on the notification button. Like. And like and comment. comment. Today, we bring you an interesting episode, mm -hmm. um, something we experienced personally, and we've had a lot of people ask us about this, mm -hmm. and today we thought to share some of the things we did and how we overcame during our season, during that season of our life. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So, we're talking about long-distance relationship, um, yes, and, and how, how we build and maintain intimacy exactly so if you are in ldr long distance relationship mm -hmm. stay tuned and if you're not in long distance relationship some of these points yeah. can also be very useful mm -hmm. you know even in you know physical relationship <laughs> <laughs> PR. <A>. PR. <laughs> yeah awesome 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 so like we said, um, intimacy is not just limited to sex, which mm -hmm. is probably why some people will discourage long distance relationship. Mm -hmm. Intimacy mm -hmm. is simply being close, close. Yeah, yeah, being uh, each other's friends, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and whatever the adjective, just yeah, majorly building mean, a bond, yeah, like exactly. a connection exactly. between the two of you mm -hmm. and strengthening that bond, yeah, and so. Uh, beyond also sex, some other activities that you might have to do physically as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. might also deter some people into going into long distance. Mm -hmm. But as we said earlier, we also did long distance. We'll probably share the story one day yeah. of our relationship, mm -hmm. how we met and all that before we eventually got how married. How we came, we saw, and we conquered. Glory. <laughs> so, yeah. So we'll probably say that one day, mm -hmm. but for now, today we're going to share with you some of the things we did during our, our LDR and uh, that helped us to bond and also build intimacy. intimacy. Yep. So um, we're going to be sharing a few things we did. The first one we'll talk about is um, how we watch movies and mm -hmm. watch, you know, series together yeah yeah um so it's sometimes you think about it oh in your physical relationship you want to go on a movie night yeah and, cinema day. you know cinema day in your healthy heart you can do the same thing right <laughs> it's probably much cheaper <laughs> <laughs> because all you need is a zoom and you share screen and you know yeah. you share and you you know get the experience might not be exact as physical but it's mm -hmm. the experience you yeah. you know get to experience you can also that speak fun over together. It you can also speak well. over it mm -hmm. and you know it's 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 always fun actually yeah. and uh, that's one thing you can do together yeah um, yeah, um, so yeah so part of um sharing experiences together you could also um pray together as mm -hmm. well we uh, for us one of the things that helped us is um we did a lot of um because i remember that when we started our relationship one of the messages we listened to was talking about how you have to bond yes. over different things yeah. for your relationship yeah so and uh, one of the things that they said we have to bond on was spiritual yes so we did a lot of activities especially around spiritual, spiritual bonding. bonding um thank god for you version if you don't know about you version you version is a Bible app mm -hmm. that has uh they of course they have Bible in different versions, mm -hmm. but say it's an app as well. Mm -hmm. And they also have plans, different mm -hmm. plans. So I remember we did a lot of marriage. A lot, plans, a lot of plans. plans. And and I think that's important because it's called shared knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. The more the two of you know the same thing, yeah. 
the easier it is to be for you to agree on, yeah. on things and mm-hmm. be on the same page. So mm-hmm. having those devotions together, shared mm-hmm. devotions, kind mm-hmm. of build some connections. Yeah. There are things we don't even have to argue about mm-hmm. because we are already agreed on this is how things should be. Yeah. You know, it kind of aligns your values also, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So uh, I think that's also one important thing. I think another thing we did, mm-hmm. right, was we read books together. Yeah, so I'm still on that uh, oh, okay. spiritual. I know you are done. <laughs> I know you are done. <laughs> so for spiritual, you know, one good thing again about um, you version as well is, you know, we could also comment. Yeah. Even though we had um, time discussion challenge. Yeah. yeah. So each time I'm doing my own devotion, I can leave a comment and wait for you to. I, I think if I, at some point, the uh, one of the ways I know when you are awake is comment yeah. on the U version. Yeah. I was like, okay, he's awake now. So one of the ways, especially when I am at work, mm-hmm. I will just receive a notification that oh you have commented. Yeah. So besides U version as well, we also listen to a lot of messages as messages, well together. Yeah. And and that's on spiritual bonding. Mm-hmm. We also read spiritual books as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. So of course there are numerous ways to bond. Uh, mm-hmm. praying together each mm-hmm. time we had our calls yeah. as well. And so yeah. One of the ways we bonded spiritually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's totally correct. I'm actually really remembering those days, and yeah, <laughs> I think we actually we did we did well in yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> because there are so when you talked about the fact that when I comment, yeah, you said, I mean, and I mean, there is also the fact that those comments sometimes create discussion when we yes. eventually get to talk. So yes. it kind of creates some topic oh, that yes, we then have need to, to discuss. Look at those, I want some to of those see. comments, yes. you can actually look yes. back and yeah, yeah. You know, I think we we did something on solo one time too. That yeah, we were we now serenading. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So especially those times, uh, when we were on that plan, <laughs> ah, I was very happy. I was just that. Oh, ah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, one other thing which mm-hmm. is also close to one of the things you mentioned in spiritual mm-hmm. is reading books uh, mm-hmm. but this time not just spiritual books mm-hmm. right yeah, there are other books right reading books books that can help you grow mm-hmm. as a couple mm-hmm. help your marriage mm-hmm. um listen to audio books together podcasts together yes. you know we had we had a shared subscription on mm-hmm. Scribd. Mm-hmm. Uh, Scribd is a platform for books, ebooks, podcasts, and all those. So we had a shared subscription. So we choose a book that we want to read, and then we we'll read it together. We we'll comment, we we'll share ideas, and you know that really also helped. You know, still coming back to that shared knowledge. Yes. I don't have to tell you. I remember a story actually that they talking about shared knowledge. I remember a story that, <laughs> that one of my pastors said, and um, he said, so two persons mm-hmm. were in the, they went to the bush and a lion was coming. Okay. And um, the first person told the second person, the second person was about to run from the lion. Mm-hmm. And then the first person told the second person mm-hmm. that he does not need to run, that he just needs to be confident and charge at the lion and the mm-hmm. lion will run back okay and then the second person asks uh that uh, the first person read that in the book right so the second person asks the first guy that okay you have read it as the lion read it <laughs> <laughs> so he's saying it in the context of marriage that if the two of you don't know this don't have yeah. similar knowledge mm-hmm. there would always be that yeah, friction yeah. Mm-hmm. so reading books together mm-hmm. helps you it creates some kind of synchrony okay, okay, okay between you and your partner. your partner yeah so i think one other thing again that we did that helped was um probably getting gifts for each other yeah yeah for me it was a challenge because uh but you tried but i know that each time i would think so deeply that what can i do so that joshua feels this love and all of those things so yeah yeah. So uh, the process of maybe probably curating gifts for each other to say okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then in fact even receiving it despite mm. being not together. Oh, and at least this person is mindful. This person mm. is 
uh, thoughtful thinking about me rather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all that and all that. Yeah, yeah I, I also just to add to that point, mm -hmm. um, the physical gifts, mm -hmm. right? It's not like a perfect substitution of physical absence. Well, I think mm -hmm. it kind of creates a bridge. Yeah. Right? Right. So I can't see her, but I can hold what she gave me. Mm -hmm. Remember the teddy bear? Yeah, especially when we said sentimental <laughs> yeah, gifts. Sentimental uh, gifts. So like, okay. the teddy bear, the key holder with her picture, yeah. and some of those things, right? Yeah, yeah. You can't see the person, but you can mm -hmm. kind of touch yeah. what the person is giving mm -hmm. you. So that, that is also a good way to actually feel close. Yes, so I remember yes. one of the was it Etro pillow I gave you that you always anytime oh, we'll call yeah. you always have it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so That's true. so I think your yeah, physical gifts and written letter. I know yes, you I yeah, 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 yeah. So those are those are you good. Have I said it's always in my wallet actually. The first one I gave you. The first one. I even need to read it. <laughs> <laughs> when you are still... Uh, oh, damn. Let's take it off. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Why you wear? Huh? Why you wear? Um, okay, you are still... <laughs> <laughs> really? What? Ah, okay. No, no, you are still now. No, go on. Go on. Leave me alone. Continue. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay, definitely. yeah. So um, another thing, another thing we did were we play games together, yeah. and I mean, like we said, it might not be your thing, mm -hmm. but you can create um, things that are in those fashion that suit you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, for example, we we, we did some games. Um, sometimes we even did memes together. Like, oh yeah. We did things that, like for example, reels. Right, mm -hmm. that people are couples are doing reels and yeah, they're like, we'll okay, this is not this that should not stop yeah. us. And then we'll do I do my side, you do your side, and we'll mm -hmm. attach it together. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. played games, we did some role plays with some Bible characters, yeah. you know. So those things we yeah, yeah. actually did enjoy those times and it kind of created those bonds and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so for that I, I think especially for the reels, I remember that it was just one day I'm like what because you know normally in long distance it's there's a kind of um should i say is bias the right word like people kind of um uh, what's the word like a kind of discrimination mm -hmm. towards people in long distance especially for mm -hmm. the female right so you tend to be very quiet about it let mm -hmm. them not notice me i don't want people to know that i'm in long distance mm -hmm. and all of that let me just stay in my corner yeah and indirectly it's kind of like invalidating your relationship or like mm. invalidating your the feelings you have like ah this is my person i'm proud to show even though we are not here together mm. at this time so i remember that that um instagram when i even started it I, I, at that time i didn't even share with anybody I mean, anybody that discovered the lady discovered it but it was a way it was speaking to myself the way mm. of validating that this is my relationship I am proud of it yeah. and I'm not hiding it yeah. because at that time, it, many people in long distance, you, you just want to shush, let people not know. Of course, people already, people that are discriminatory already, mm. they are trained in your faces that, oh, you're half married, you're this and that. Mm. Mm. But why should you now even also do the service to yourself? Mm. A way of validating myself or mm. validating my relationship. Oh, I'm proud mm. of this at that time was the IG. Mm. And I know for some people, maybe your own way of validating might be different yeah. from another person but also you can also do something for yourself to okay, validate my relationship absolutely yeah if you like you can put it on your car i am married to <laughs> something like that you know absolutely yeah 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 okay so since you brought up instagram yeah right i think that's also another thing we did mm -hmm. uh which kind of helped us um like you have you know mentioned we gradually started to create hey. content mm -hmm. and to the glory of god <laughs> we, are content creators. we are content creators now so i mean that is kind of like a seed that is what kind of started, started this it. all right mm -hmm. and, well, and also journaling as well yes yeah. and also journaling so we you want to take that okay okay because you know during edgar there was a lot of emotions as mm. well and so 
and of course both of us had different emotions mm -hmm. sometimes because emotions are high mm -hmm. a good way was for us to vent it out in our journal we have yeah. a shared journal at that yeah. time so i'm able to read how he's feeling he's able to read my feeling read interpretations of events mm -hmm. that we both experience yeah. yeah so we shared that journal mm -hmm. of our long distance relationship yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, to talk about that journal too, um, the journal kind of helps you read back mm -hmm. and discuss. Yeah. You also kind of get to know, although of, of course we talk every day, yeah. but you kind of also get to know how, what's going on in this person's yeah, life, I, yeah. right? And, and, okay, the next thing I was going to talk about was we started writing a book yes. together yes. and what i was going to link it to is the fact that as i as during the writing process mm -hmm. sometimes i go back to the journal mm -hmm. and i kind of look at oh this is a story that you, you talked about yeah. and then i kind of kind of create some references to it yeah. in the book. so yeah. journaling is actually also yeah. good. also the journal too for example there are some negative energy that i don't want to bring out to the core mm -hmm. you know for example mm -hmm. the call how many most times maybe two three hours mm -hmm. of calls because of time difference is very close to when i'm going to bed and he probably is middle of his day and all of that so there are some negative energy i don't want to bring on that call because it's supposed to be good vibes positive let's discuss about ourselves mm -hmm. not about maybe negative things that people say or that i experience so a good way will be to go and vent it. For example, all of you people that say bad things to me during a day, <laughs> your name is the journal. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Let's go. Okay, so, so I think another thing we did was mm -hmm. we created unique ways. Yeah. Right. Things that we customize for ourselves. Yeah. Right. To kind of express our emotions, to mm -hmm. tell ourselves that we mm -hmm. love ourselves, we love yeah. each other. Uh, for example, I remember one thing we which we started. Mm -hmm. So there was Joshify. Yeah. <laughs> so the story of Joshify really mm -hmm. um, is interesting because we we're reading a book. Yeah. Right. There was a there was an audio book. I can't remember the author. Mm -hmm. And that night I was just after our call. Mm -hmm. Right. I just took a walk and I had the I had the mm. audiobook playing. So I was listening to the book and took a walk around. By the time I came back, it was more about it the central thing was appreciate your partner. Okay. Right. Um, sometimes you don't have a full understanding mm. of what your partner is going through. Okay. Right. You don't have it hundred percent. So appreciate your partner. I started to think about how to appreciate you and then I uh, started justify. So the first thing was I did a video actually telling you, you know, that I love you, I appreciated you, and I kind of did that for some time. So we kind of started. Then I think it was during February too, because you also started the Valentify thing. So it was more like you were telling me I love you in different ways. I was telling you I love you. I so I'm <laughs> a decorating Canva, and you know those things kind of help those and i know sometimes sometimes in some relationship it's not spoken like mm. i love you mm. maybe because of african background sometimes mm -hmm. right we probably didn't hear parents more often saying i love you and we as the next generation so to say mm -hmm. we have to you know intentionally, intentionally create that culture you know of telling ourselves we love each other and that helps us Mm -hmm. right absolutely i think one thing too which reminds me of you know our last topic where we were talking about the early no elephants in the room mm -hmm. one thing that helped us too is um having projects yeah even though it might not be like oh we are constructing houses or this yeah those projects could be in terms of oh this month we are valentify mm -hmm. justify mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. elephants in the room yeah something to just spark joy and create excitement for ourselves yeah in the yeah. relationship yeah. one of the things that helped us and we did a lot then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and yeah. for someone who is thinking what is valentify what is justify yeah <laughs> so stick around we'll tell you <laughs> Stick around. We will we'll break it down in another video. Stick around. We'll, you know. And I think one other thing um, yeah. we 
did customized names, customized yeah. stickers for herself yeah, using our pictures. <laughs> 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 it did different, different. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and so you can just be okay. there's one too the one that crowned it all we went to virtual date virtual date yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You no know, okay if that might be because we had different dates movie mm-hmm. dates and we went to like restaurant restaurant like restaurant. i Actually. went to my restaurant we went to your restaurant <laughs> with them <laughs> On our video calls, yeah. and we <laughs> you can go to our Instagram page, you'll see it there. You would document it, so go to our Instagram at Ducky, Ducky and Josh. Josh, yeah. And I think finally, we keeping in touch, yeah, just intentionally keeping in touch, yeah, just being intentional about communication. communication. Your day is busy, most likely. Mm-hmm. You have friend time, you know, time zones, but still create that habit of checking in. Checking in. Yes. Short mm-hmm. message. Short. Mm-hmm. I know there's something you're very also good at where during the day you can just send a random Bible verse. Oh, yeah. So sometimes it's not even about asking how you're doing sometimes. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's just, just sending something. something, sharing something, and mm-hmm. it might just be something that just that person needs at that point in time. So checking in creating time to it might not you know you will still have your long hours call maybe later in the mm-hmm. day but during the day you yeah. can just drop in some, some messages, short messages yeah. checking in on each other absolutely yeah so these are some of the things it's not exhausted because but we have to like stick to time yeah yeah we and hope this help you yeah in your ldr yeah yeah and i think for others who had also gone through this experience it would be great to actually take notes from you for others who would also be watching the video yeah. you know you can drop your comments yeah you can share your experiences on some of us. the things yeah. you did mm-hmm. in the comment section yeah thank you so much thank you so much for staying, for staying with, staying us. with us yeah we'll see you we'll see uh, you in the next episode like subscribe share and comment comment god bless you <laughs> bye, bye.